Welcome to Fan Fiction Part 2, baby! Special guest, Kelsey Kelsey Animated. <laughs> Last year we did a video reading your fan fictions, and then we thought, hey, let's do part two. And then we got almost 200 emails of more fan fictions. Yeah, Kelsey read all of them. I was actually in Mexico, and every single email was opened by this <laughs> I was like, damn girl, you are reading every single one of these. I mean, yeah, I'm late at night when I'm alone. I'm just my guilty pleasure. You know, I kind of feel bad for like the rest of these 168 people that wrote this thinking that they'll be featured in a video and they never do. I guess there's so many we have to make a part three. No. <laughs> Are werewolves furries? You fell in love with a werewolf, not a furry. They're different. All right, good. I'm just making sure. I don't want to fall in love with a furry. Perla was always fascinated by the thought of dating a sexy fictional creature, whether it be a vampire, a werewolf, or even a unicorn, as it sounds dreamy to her eyes. Her room was the ideal setup. There were posters of Edward Cullen everywhere and rats under her bed. Don't ask. Her mom called her from the kitchen. Perla! Get your ass down here! <laughs> Perla gulped. She ran to the kitchen because she was worried about what she had done this time. I need you to get like 16 bags of tortillas. But that seems like a lot. You don't get your ass in the market, I will! She ran to the door with the cash her mother handed her. Okay, mommy, I love you. Please don't be my ass. She walked to the store since it's like a three minute walk from her house. She walks in and somehow takes forever to find the tortillas. Damn, where them bitches at? She finally found it. She bought the stuff and carried them home. But then, as she was getting home, she noticed on a nearby hill, a silhouette of a f werewolf. Oh my God. My time has come! Wait, is this one me or is it you? I think you're the werewolf. Yeah, you're the werewolf. Oh my god! I know you're there, you little baka. Come out! Perla had no choice. She walked up to the fur. <laughs> werewolf. That's right, baby grill. Ow! My name is Kesley. Perla talked back. My name's Perla. Perla thought, is this real? Am I dreaming? Oh my god, it is a werewolf! Kelsey sniffed Perla up and down and noticed. Yo, is that tortillas? Perla was confused. Wait, what about me? Perla then pinned her down. No, Kelsey then pinned her down. Oh, oops. I would have been tough so bad. Girl, all of these stories, you're a fucking bottom. <laughs> Yeah. When will I get to be the bottom? Kelsey then Ooh. pinned her down. Oh my god! I'm gonna eat those tortillas, baby girl. Or I'll eat you. No, please! Anything but that! I have no choice. I have no choice, Perla! Kelsey lunged at her and Perla died. She snatched the tortillas. Hell yeah. Kelsey held up the engagement ring and proposed to the tortillas. And they lived happily ever after. The end. The Hashtag end. Kelsey X Tortillas. Hashtag Keltillas. Keltillas. Keltilla is real. Oh, there's a next part? Next part. Oh, uh, there's nothing. They drew it, but I can't. None of the pictures are loading. No. Wait, can I look at it on my phone? <laughs> Hi, I am Werewolf. OMG, that's so hot. Ooh. Shout out to Mora Dairy. 10 out of 10 fanfic. <laughs> Hell yeah. The beach visit. Uh, this is, oh my god, they created this with a school email. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm blurring that shit. Yeah, maybe blur that email. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, don't write fan fiction with your school email, guys. What the fuck? Uh, now I know your whole ass fucking school day. Oh my god, they'll see this. No, they gonna see this, bitch. You fucked up. <laughs> you gonna get expelled. Anyway. They put their phone number in it! 
<laughs> I don't think this is a real phone Oh wait, number. is that the phone number from the last video where it's just the Gerber Live hotline? Is it? Let me see. Call now for free information about the grow up plan. <laughs> 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 Erla woke up to the sound of chirping birds. Yes, a perfect beach day, P. Erla screamed as she leaped out of bed and put on an oversized t-shirt with some blue shorts. She then grabbed her bag and stuffed a bunch of beach-related items inside. Bye, Mom! I'm on my way to the beach! She yelled. Okay, Mia! Stay safe! Her mother yelled back as P. Erla closed the door behind her. P. Erla got on her bike and rode out of her neighborhood and into the street. Just then, another bike going 65 miles per hour ran into her and yeeted her into the air. A girl wearing a dark red crop jacket and a black cuff jeans got off her bike and ran to her just in time to catch her. Damn, I'm fast as hell. P. Erla looked up at the girl, her face still in panic because she thought she was about to die. The girl suddenly placed P. Erla on the concrete and took her helmet off. The wind flowed in her red hair and the sun beamed off her red circular sunglasses, complimenting her outfit. Are you all right? She asked as P. Erla stood up. She took one look at her face and froze. Her mind was lost in the melody of the song playing in her heart. She immediately turned red. She picked up her bike and took off. The girl stared blankly at Pierla as she was biking away. Pierla arrived at the beach and- oh my god! Pierla! It's Perla! Like a pear. <laughs> like oh. the fruit pear. Oh. Perlas. <laughs> Perla arrived at the hey. beach and took a sigh of relief. She placed her towel down and put on sunscreen. She was about to reach the full feeling of relaxation when someone walked up beside her. Excuse me, can I lay my things next to yours? Perla looked up and it was her! Perla's face turned red and she quietly said, Sure. My name is Kelsey. Sorry for running you over earlier, my bad. Perla told her it was fine and they had a conversation until dusk hit. Perla looked at the time and it was time for her to leave. Perla gathered her things as fast as she could and ran out of the beach. <laughs> Can you say that again? You cut off. Oh. Wait! Kelsey yelled as she threw something in her direction. It was her helmet! She put it on and raced to her house. Her mom was waiting for her in front of the door and yelled at her that she was late. Perla apologized and ran to her room. She took off her helmet and something fell out of it. It was a piece of paper that said, 800 588 Empire. Call me. <laughs> I like this one. Bye, it's Chris. Chris, if you're watching this, delete the email. Delete this. Your school is gonna see this and it's gonna be so embarrassing. Okay, but with all that aside, I give this fanfic a 10 out of 10. Congratulations, it's Chris. You won nothing. Yes. Yes. Kelsey, I think this video is getting a little bit too long. Do you want to make like a sequel? Like a bloopers video? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Story time. This video took forever because I got sick twice. I caught Rona, I think the beginning of making this video. And I just got out of the flu. For anybody who wants to collab with Kelsey Animated, just know that you will get sick because this is the Kelsey curse. Whoever collabs with this bitch will get fucking sick. I know from experience. <coughs> yeah, sorry this video took so long. But if you want to see part two of this fan fiction series, go on over to Kelsey's channel. We read more fanfics over there, and I think it's funnier. No, it's not. I'm lying. <laughs> no, it's funny. Of course, it's funny. Thank you to uh, thank you to my team, to all of you guys, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. <laughs> you gotta read this bitch. <laughs>